The Capacity Command Center at Hopkins serves the same function as an air traffic control center in the aviation industry. Imagine yourself flying in an airplane, and you're flying home to Baltimore. So can you imagine flying into that airspace without somebody controlling where you were going? The goal of the Air Traffic Control Center is to get the right plane to the right runway at the right time. And our goal is right patient, right bed, right time. We knew we needed to do something, something to improve efficiency, coordinate care, and really maximize the use of our precious beds. In my mind, the command center was a terrific collaboration between the Johns Hopkins Hospital and GE to really improve our processes. For the command center to be able to communicate with all those people and have all of those minds focused on Rodney Matthews is critical. My plan was to go to the spa and pick up a gift certificate for my wife. But when I got there, my chest felt funny. And then I lost all the feeling in my lower part of my body and my legs. Mr. Matthews had an aortic dissection, which is a tearing of the blood vessel that supplies the entire body with blood. It is an emergency and requires surgery as soon as possible. My body was in the most excruciating pain I'd ever experienced in my life. And all I could remember after that was I heard a helicopter. And it actually brought some comfort to me. I felt like I was being taken care of and I was going to be okay. Most of the activities that occur here in the command center are actually invisible to our patients and in fact sometimes invisible to the rest of our staff because if we're doing our functions and we're doing them really efficiently, it's a really very smooth process. The command center helps bring patients to us so we can provide the life-saving care for which we are known. We can be sure the patients who need to be at the Johns Hopkins Hospital can be here when they need to be here. I am extremely grateful that the Capacity Command Center exists. Everything was timing uh, because I needed surgery right away. We've seen a great deal of improvement in all of our operational metrics since we've opened the command center. The time it takes to get a patient out of the emergency department is significantly reduced. The time it takes to get a patient out of the operating room significantly reduced. The number of patients we're able to bring into the hospital significantly increased the time it takes for our ambulances to be dispatched significantly reduced. But perhaps the biggest improvement that we've seen is that we are making the most efficient use of every single inpatient bed that we can possibly make at this point. The true power of the command center um, in many ways is the amount of data and information that we have available to us real time and visible to anybody that wants to see that data when they need it and as they need it. There's no way that you could save a life without having a command center communicate with all those people. And the training that those people have to save my life was just, just amazing. The screens that you see are not just pretty pictures. They're used every minute of every day, and behind them is some very sophisticated technology. Walls and walls of monitors, streamlining data on who needs services, what our bed status is. Historically, we have reacted to demand for our beds. Through the use of predictive analytics, we will be able to anticipate that need and better plan. Managing the operations of the Johns Hopkins Hospital, or the Johns Hopkins Health System, is very complex. We have to be concerned about quality, safety, service, and we have to do it efficiently. Then managing that process to get me to the hospital as quick as possible is, is huge. You know, you're saving a life. 